The continents have been constantly moving on the surface of the globe for millions of years. We can see the evidence of continental drift if we look at the correspondence between relief elements on either side of the Atlantic Ocean. The Appalachians and the mountains on the coast of Greenland have the same geological structure as the Caledonides and Mauritanides. They are also about the same age, between 300 and 450 million years old. About 200 million years ago, all the continents were attached to each other and formed a single continent, Pangaea. This immense continental plate later broke into a number of smaller plates that slowly drifted on the surface of Earth, pushed by the magma deep within the planet. Every year these plates move several centimeters. Fifty million years from now, the world map will look quite different. The American plates will drift farther west, the Horn of Africa will separate from the continent, and Australia will have reached the equator. <laughs>